Well, good morning everybody. <laughs> Hope everyone's all good and dandy. This is definitely a dehumidifier to the other one. The other one's down there. Now that one, um, uh, that one needs a new regeneration fan is what they call it. And um, that's in the progress. This is the one that I bought to replace the other one when the other one stopped working. So this is an Eco Air as well. But I think it's the newer version. It's it's got digital buttons and things on the top and um, an ionizer and different modes and whatever. You know, very nice. It's got a light in there and it's got a light in there and it's got an electric thing to spread the air around and it's very good. The only trouble is it also lasted about six months before it stopped working. Um, it did a winter. We only use them in the winter. Uh, when the weather starts to get a bit warm again, then we put them away. Put them back in their boxes. We clean them all out, obviously. Clean all the water out. Dry them all out so they don't go mouldy. Put them back in their boxes and put them in storage. In the loft. Um, but yeah, this one, it went the whole winter. And then just before the winter ended, I noticed it stopped collecting water. So we got exactly the same problem as what that one had. Where it just stops collecting water. And there's no hot air coming out of the vent and there's no water being collected. So, knowing what I know about that one, they had a hole in the condenser, I reckon this one's probably got the same. Hopefully it hasn't got the... Uh, well, do you know what? If it has, I might just take the new condenser out of that one and put it in this one, because this one doesn't need a new regeneration fan, because it's as quiet as a nut. Sweet, this one is. A very op good operational. It just doesn't collect any water anymore. So anyway, let's take it apart and have a look, shall we? of our presents we got had all been made by my parents because you couldn't afford you didn't have you know it was, things were different then you couldn't just go out and buy lots of toys and all that like they do now so you made them but we used to get inside that pillowcase in the morning get your head inside it and break it all out it's, it's really interesting lovely nice yeah, we have stockings. The stockings there with a, present, a few presents inside it for the kids. As far as our kids are concerned, Father Christmas and his elves makes all the presents. They don't know that they don't. Yeah. I mean, how old is your oldest one? Seven. All oh, right, yeah. Well, um... I mean, I'm probably telling you things you already do, but the night before, like Christmas Eve, I used to be with the children, and uh, I'd suddenly say, hang on, listen. And everyone would shut up, and I'd, I'd say, i say, what's, what's that, Dad? i say, no, he's just gone over. Who? Father Christmas in his sleigh. So I've got the front of it off. This one's obviously got a little motor to power the little flappy thing on the front there to move the air around or whatever it does and um yeah so i've got to take off that screw there's only two screws there's that screw there and there's a, that screw down there and then i should be able to just lift off the whole unit and then i can get to the condenser and we can see if it's got a hole in it and um i don't know i don't really other know you know the heater might stop working on this one i thought that was the trouble with the other one but once i put a new condenser in without a hole in I started getting hot air coming out the thing again because what I thought was originally because on that one then you turn it on and there was no heat you'll find with these things because they've got a heater obviously the way they work um, hot air will come out the vent sometimes and then obviously when it decides it doesn't need the heater anymore the cold air comes out and the heat comes under more hot air but no matter how long I left it no hot air came out now the hole in the condenser was obviously causing that because obviously I put new condenser on and hot air come out. So hopefully it's the same thing again. But anyway, take that screw out. This is what I need to get a new one of these for that other one. But this one's alright. This one's not noisy on this one, so it'll be alright. Anyway, screws out, unit off. Let's see. Well, it's a bit awkward because we've got the digital panel here. With the other one, it just had a knob, you just popped it off and out it comes. This one's all connected with the wires on the digital panel, so it's a bit awkward just to flip it over. But I've done it. Now I'm inspecting on this condenser and I can't see any holes. Um, on the other one, there was a hole, I think it was that one, and a hole burned through it. But this one seems to be 
Oh, we're dropping screws on the floor. I don't know where that one's come from. Put that down there. But this one seems to be all right. But I've got to take this condenser off to see if it's blocked because this is common. They'll block up here and then they won't get any flow. It doesn't look particularly bad in there, so I don't think it's blocked. But we'll have to have a look. And then if that doesn't work, I have to put this back together here and then plug it in and turn it on and see what's working. There might be something that's not working. But I can't see any holes. But I've got a way of testing to see if there's any holes and I'll show you that in a minute. This condenser looks all right. I was going to fill it up with water. Bloody blimey. I was going to, I might, I must still do, fill it up, so put it upside down like that, put some water in it. I know I won't better check for holes up here, but I better check for holes all the way along here because, you know, the water will come out the holes. But, you know what, it just looks all right to me. There's not blocked in there either. These holes ain't blocked. So we might just be um, going to have to look to see if there's a bit that ain't working. Hmm, let's have a look. Right, so there we go, it's plugged in and turned on. I've got the water catcher in the bottom. That's there because it's still connected with that wire. I couldn't get the plug out and I didn't want to break it, so I've just left it like that. Now, for those of you that may be curious, you have to stand these up because they've got um, a tilt sensor. So if the unit was to fall over, it would turn off um, rather than just keep going and put water everywhere. So you have to stand it up. Anyway, Let's turn it on and see what's working and what's not. So the little thingy magic wheels going round, the fan's working, which I knew was working anyway. But I don't know, the only thing that I reckon might not be working is the heater. That's the only thing that I can see that could be wrong. Is the little I think the little regeneration fan is working. feels like it is you know what that even does to tell you the truth I think the only thing that ain't working must be the heat uh, heater filming a wall here sorry about that I'm going to have to leave it on for a bit and see if that comes on. That might come on. I'll put it on the lower setting there so it's a bit less of wind. It should still be the same as far as heat and other stuff is concerned. <laughs> bit of a wobbly fan there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it on for a bit and see if it gets warm. But I don't think it will because I've never seen any cold oh, air coming out of it before. Well, it's been on for a while and I've not noticed any, it doesn't feel any different. And I put the temperature gun on it. And if anything, it's going down. It was 13 and a half, and that's down to 12 and a half. So, I, I'm going to say that the trouble with this one is the heater. Um, I did read somewhere that the heaters, um, they're, they're common on these, the heaters for not working, for going off. So, oh man, what a nightmare. I've just been looking at the wires. I'll turn it off, there's bloody cold air coming out of there. Um, I've just been looking at the wires. They go all the way around and they go up and they go into this little control board here. I don't know whether it's going to be a nightmare or not, to say the truth. Um, hmm, going to have to have a look at it. I'll have to get hold of Eco Air. The Eco Air have been pretty good so far. Um, all the parts I needed for this other one, I've emailed them and they've said um, they're not open to the public. You know, they will let me buy them because the, it's, the unit's quite old. Um, you know, obviously for a newer one, they they want to repair it themselves. But because the unit's quite old, they let me buy the parts. So I don't know what they do for this one. This one's a little bit newer, but not quite as. Um, it's not brand new. It's probably four, or five years old. Um, so yeah, I know I turned it off. By the way, it does it. It stays on for ages after you turn it off. This one, I'm not quite sure the reason. It's probably to cool the heater down, so it doesn't just leave it hot. I don't know. Might leave a hot spot in that wheel thing. I don't know, do I? But uh, yeah, so that's the end of that. I think I'm not going to be taking the heater off or nothing today. It's just I haven't got time, and it ends up just being in bits on the bench. And I've got loads of stuff to do on the bench. 
plenty of videos to film on this bench today. So I just wanted to take it apart to see if I could just get it going because we bloody need a dehumidifier. And um, the one that we've got in the conservatory at the moment is a compressor one. And it only works when you got hot, when you know, above sort of 15, 16 degrees. That's when it actually works. Um, these ones will work from one degrees, you know, and they'll be all right. But when it gets quite cold in the conservatory at night time, I have to stick a heater on and to get it up to about 15, 16 degrees centigrade or Celsius, whichever one you want to say. And then I can put the dehumidifier on and then it carries on after that. But that means I just have to run a separate heater and it's just bloody more expense, isn't it? So that's why I like these ones because they'll work from one degrees and they, they heat themselves as well. So these are just a lot better. Um, so this is why I want to try and get this going. So at the minute I've got, at the minute I've got two dead dehumidifiers. That one down there, and that one there. But uh, yeah, with the other one, I need I'll get this new fan um, motor for the other one. But it's not clear whether it comes just with this motor assembly here, or if I get the whole assembly with the with the shroud and the fan because the bearings have gone in the other one and I don't know, it's not very clear on it what, what you get you know, I don't just want this assembly, the little motor I want the fan, I want the spindle I want everything, but it ain't clear so I might have to just email them just see if it comes as a whole lot <coughs> and, and what happens because while they're um, they are very very helpful Eco Air, customer services and all that and the part support team they're very helpful but I think it's because they normally work with engineers that know anyway they don't give you a good explanation of what you actually get they give you a part number and a, a link to go and get the part and buy it and that's it um and for the other one i, I said um does it uh, for the other one for it i did ask them does it come as a whole fan assembly or is it just the motor and they said, uh, what did they say? Something along the lines of, this is fan assembly motor, part number, blah, blah, blah. To me, that doesn't tell me if it comes as the whole lot with the shroud on it and everything, or if it just comes as a fan motor. And I don't want to be a pain because they've been very, very helpful. So I might just buy what they told me to buy and see what turns up. If it turns up as the whole assembly with the shroud, the fan, the spindle and the motor, brilliant. It turns up with just a motor. I'm gonna to have to say, "All right, I've got the motor. Thank you very much. I want this fan, the spindle, and the shroud, please, as well." And they'll have to give me the part numbers for them. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find to do, shall we? I've stuck it in the in the corner here now. I'm just gonna leave it on all day, just to see. You know, I, just, there's no arm knotting. Now I know there's no hole in the condenser. So I ain't got to worry about, I, I was a little bit worried before with the hole in the condenser, it might condense a little bit. But all the water, instead of going into the um, little tray, it was just running all around on all the electrics and that. So now I know there's no holes in it. Um, I'm just going to leave it on. And what's the worst that can happen? You know, it'll, uh, if it's got a problem, the little problem light will come on and it'll turn itself off. Um, if not, it'll just keep running. And I'll just see, that's completely empty. It's bone dry in there. And I'm going to see what happens. I'll leave it on all day in here. There's not a lot of moisture in here, I don't think. But, um, what is it? Oh, maybe there is. Maybe there is. Because, according to this humidity gauge, the temperature is, what's that, 11 or 12 degrees. And the humidity is about 89. <laughs> so, there probably maybe is quite a lot of moisture in here. But we'll see. We'll see. Currently trying to get this to work, by the way. This is a little project. Um for the RC channel so we'll have a look at this in another video on, on that channel lovely car always wanted one when I was a kid and her sister and all had one and she'd give it to me to repair a few years ago and I couldn't get it going but I took it out of box yesterday I'm determined I want to get it going now I think the battery's at it I've got the battery on charge at the minute but um, it's an it's a old Nikam Cadmium battery so anyway dehumidifiers on see what happens I've been on a Thunderpole to see if they can get like a mat. I wanted them to make like a mat. I said, is there any like bench mats that you've got that I can uh, buy or perhaps you'd like to sponsor me with one? I put it on my table and then they want to just see Thunderpole, wouldn't they? Um, no one, they haven't got one. 
So I've just I've, I've had a towel down now. I always put a towel down because it's something comfortable. And if any screws pop off, they don't roll around. They just sort of get stuck in the towel. But I'd like a proper branded sort of like mat, like a towel material. I want it to be like these um like these bar mats I've got here. They're quite nice. I want like a towel material, just like a bench mat, exactly the same size as this towel actually. That's a very nice size. Um, Thunderpole said that they let, they let me know if they get one made up. I'm thinking they might have one with um, like a radio on it or something. Black mat, or maybe not black. I see screws, but yeah, black would be nice though. Thunderpole in red writing written across it. Thunderpole with a radio there, you know, whatever. And that would be well nice. But um, yeah, if any other companies out there would do like a bench mat in towel material, and you've got your branding on it or whatever, I don't care what's on it as long as it looks nice in me, on my bench. Um, let me know, will you? And um, if you don't want to sponsor me with one, I'll just buy one off you. Because, um, yeah, I like having a towel down when I'm taking screws out and things. Because, as I said, they don't roll around and it's just it's more comfortable to work on as well. Rather than just a hard bench. Nice. <laughs> so cool, the minute I turn on the record button, some dickhead starts speaking on the radio, doesn't he? That's what now I remember why I don't have these bloody things on. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, you know, if there's a this this has got like they've got a problem button, look, a problem thing, a little uh, exclamation mark there, and if there's a problem, oh wait, there it is, it's a D D D one classic mark five. This is anyway, so it's got a problem light. Now, if there's a problem with it and it's not functioning, that light comes on and it, it, it lets you know that there's a problem. So there is a problem because it ain't collecting any water. Yeah. So why ain't that light coming on? And that heater don't seem to be getting hot, so why ain't the light coming on to say, hold on a minute, heater's got a problem. So obviously that circuitry for that little uh, problem light ain't very good, is it? Unless there ain't a problem and it's just, I don't know, but it's just bloody hell. Normally they collect water really quick. It was really good when it was new, you know. It lasted about five, six months, and then we suddenly stopped collecting water. I don't give up with it. I've talked about it too much. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it on. For those of you that didn't watch the video, there's the old condenser. Look, and you can see there that where that brown is. That's where the hole was. You can see it from this side. Yeah, look, there you go. There's the hole, and that's what I thought might have happened in this one. But that's the condenser out of that one down there. So, yeah, I don't know. That's going to go in the bin now. But it was just laying around. I thought I'd show you a lot because some of you might not have seen the other video. See. Oh well. If any, of you, if any of you are familiar with these dehumidifiers or whatever and you know what might be the problem with this one um, or you know is the heater easy to change I don't know I haven't looked into it I've never done it before on that one yeah put it in the comments um, let me know your opinions of what's going on and I'll probably see you in the next video um, plenty of things to be doing so don't worry about that plenty of videos coming up I'll catch you on the next one and I uh, hope you had a lovely Christmas and also hope you're gonna have a good new year because today's, what is it, like 27th of December, so a few more days, and it'll be New Year, and we'll be 2022, eh? It feels like bloody ages ago that disease was around, that coronavirus, didn't it, eh? That was, what was that? That was years ago, wasn't it? Bloody hell. We're moving on, we're moving on, you lot, moving on. <laughs> anyway, all the best, you lot, take care.